Welcome back for more Terraria Ranger Danger. The last episode, we faced off against the Destroyer and we got destroyed. No other way to put it. But I went ahead and found some more titanium and crafted it a titanium headpiece. So, it's a something better than nothing, right? Now all we gotta do is get the other two pieces, which require a boatload more titanium. Son of a bitch. But I think I will try to go ahead and craft another mechanical worm piece. Let's see if we can at least try to summon him again. I think the last time I really made a mistake on was not having enough piercing arrows. The only piercing arrows that I really know of are going to be of the Joker variety, or I should say the Jester variety. The Joker. Yeah. Too much Batman in my head right about now. Way too much Batman. Anyway, okay, here's our guide. Come here, guide. I have to go ahead and remember... I actually have no stars for the Jester arrows as well. That's very unfortunate, damn it. Oh, great. How wonderful is this? Okay, you know what? What was the recipe for the mechanical worm? That's what I'm trying to get at. Not throw it away, try to find the recipe. We needed roughly, what, six soul of night, six rotten chunk, and five bars, or lead bars, whatever. Oh no, this could be a bit of a problem. Do I have any rotten chunk? I don't think I do. So this may take some time to go ahead and get. Bummer. Or actually, you know what? Since we don't have... I don't even think I have the actual... Oh, damn it, I don't. Since we have the crimson here, I thought I'd have some of the bone marrow, but apparently I don't. Damn it. Okay, well, we're going to fast forward just a little bit. Done fast forwarding. We got our mechanical worm piece set up right here. I'm not going to use it just yet because, well, not really set up the best for it. I'm going to go ahead and try to catch some stars around here if it's possible. So that way we can go ahead and get ready for some jester arrows. The best way to kill this thing is by hitting multiple links at multiple different points, I guess you could say. You want to keep hitting them all multiple times, ultimately. And that's what we're trying to get through the jester arrows. Now, I know you can use crystal bullets with the mini shark and tried that. Didn't have much luck before. Already tried it off screen. Did not work out so well. So yeah, we are really, really hurting on that end. And I think jester arrows would probably work the best, especially with the actual repeater we have, the titanium repeater. Mini Shark not doing that much damage in hard mode. Go figure, right? Of course, once we get the Mega Shark, it's all hands... It's hands off. All bets are off. We got that wrapped up. But of course, getting that Mega Shark is going to be the biggest deal because, well, we don't have enough souls. And of course, the souls come from the damn worm. Anywho, I don't want to... I don't want to keep fast-forwarding because then I feel like you guys get cut out on content. Even if it is high quality non-content. So I'm not going to keep fast forwarding on you. I know some of you already stated that the videos are a little bit short. I apologize for that. And I apologize if I'm boring you out of your skull right about now. Of course, I could try to go ahead and get these stars offline. But, well, you know. We need, how many do we got so far? We got five. It's enough for 50 Jester arrows. Clearly, that's nowhere near enough. Do what we gotta go ahead and do. We're gonna need at least a thousand Jester arrows. And then from there, I think we'll be okay. But we gotta get at least enough to whittle the health down really, really quick. Hence the reason why piercing damage. That's why the other classes seem to have it so much easier. Unfortunately, melee, not so much. Again, crystalline bullets and all are nice, but... They're so much better when you can actually go through the target and hit another target. And you really line up the enemy for... For that to take place. In this case, our boss. Holy crap. Okay, is that it for the stars or what, man? I at least want to get... Mm, I guess that's going to be it for the stars. At least I got some, right? Anything down here? No. Not at all. How much gold do we have? Oh, it doesn't matter anyway, because you know why? We haven't beaten the first boss. I was going to say, if we actually had enough, we could go ahead and farm out the titanium using the clentaminator, but that's not possible. You have to have at least one boss dead for the clentaminator. Hooray. Damn it. Well, that sucks. I guess we have to go ahead and... I don't know. We gotta find some more stars here somewhere. And have some kind of luck, right? I mean, they can't not be anywhere. Of course, I have all these torches down for light just in case we needed it. 
And of course, it's doing nothing but making my job harder. Harder than it needs to be. Uh, so I know uh, some of you guys have actually sent me some messages about patch 1.2 for the console version of Terraria. And yeah, it's already been, I, I want to say confirmed. I believe Red has posted it on his Twitter page at one point that it, it's it's been in the process of being approved by the system. Whatever you want to call it. It is being in the confirmation stages, so... I know a lot of you guys are really happy for that. I have yet to play Terraria on a console. I've tried it for the Android. It seems really interesting. I don't know... I don't know how to feel about it for the console. If anyone who hasn't played it for the cell phone mobile version, whether it's Android or, or i whatever, the iPhone, the i whatever. Anyway, either way, if you haven't played it for the mobile version, it's a little bit different, and it has a different control setup. To me, it feels very awkward at first. I'm having a very difficult time getting used to it. But from what I understand, once you get used to it, it is pretty fun to say the least. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, where the heck are all these stars at, damn it? We need more stars. More stars are required. Look, even if I just get 20 stars, that'd be great. Just enough to have 200 Jester arrows will make all the difference in a battle of life and death against... Oh, I see that star. Got it. In our battle against the Destroyer. Alright, well, went ahead and sped that up just a little bit because we were taking a while. Got, uh, what, 22 stars with 220 arrows? Which means we should have more than enough here. We're gonna get over 200, what can I say? There we go. Very nicely done indeed. Go ahead and get rid of that one arrow because I I'm a stickler for being perfect like that. Uh, don't judge me. Anyway, we got our 220 Jester arrows. At some point, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more. In the meantime, since it's freaking daylight, I might as well go ahead back down and try to go ahead and get some more titanium. And for the record, yes, I did go back and form up the titanium I was off to the side here. I wasn't going to leave that if I was going to make armor. No way in hells. So how difficult is it is to find titanium down in a hole? Well, let's just say, as we stop right there apparently, that trying to find it in a very dark bluish teal type is difficult to say the least. Let's see if we can go ahead and find some stray ones around here. Clearly, it is not stray. Wait a minute, that's tungsten, never mind. So yeah, it is very dark tealish, almost like a green. And it is not easy to spot on the minimap at all. Now the one thing that's really getting me irritated is the change that they made with the Spelunker potions. Having done that, now it's even more difficult to find them. It's, I get that they wanted to add a challenge to the game, but now you just went ahead and if you've reduced how the ore spawns, that's one thing. What they've also done is changed how it can be found. So now you just made it even harder to find. That means now I gotta go ahead and blow up the whole damn underground in order to find titanium. Holy crap, or at least cheat. Which I am severely not, I don't wanna do. I really don't wanna do. So we have a bunch of iron over there, that's nothing. And of course we would not get lucky enough again, would we? to find another vein down here. Of course not. Get out of here, you dick. What do we got here? Oh, we got another demon. Hooray. Like, we never saw one of these before, right? You, get out of here. Sheesh. Monsters everywhere. So we got lucky last time and found a couple pieces up in the ceiling. Once again, that's, that probably won't happen again, unfortunately. Can we get a better look around here? At least try to skim it up a little bit. You see that's cobalt, we see that's emerald over there. You never really know, so we may have to go ahead and do some digging just in case. That is also another pain in the butt. Oop, wait a minute. You know what, while we're here, might as well go ahead and kill another one of these guys. Why, why not? Look. It's a freaking gargoyle demon, dude. The doll. We can use the doll to go ahead and summon that wall of flesh and have some fun with it, right? You gotta have some fun with this. And it's kind of cool to kill the guide over and over again. Look, you dick, leave me alone. Oh, come on. That's how, I, that's how we do that. Seriously. Get over there. There we go. Let me go ahead and use this gun now. Yeah. 
total annihilation. Plus it gives me another reason to go ahead and use this Gat Gatligator. Oh, the Gatligator power here. Yeah. Come on, wall of flesh. You're gonna be the wall of finish here soon. Look at that. Dude is just got owned. Got completely owned. That wasn't even really a challenge. Oh no, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Did I get anything good? No. I was gonna say if I had the clockwork rifle, that'd be really good. But we got the sharp breaker blade, which is nothing. Nuts. Rash magma stone. Ooh, what is this? Equipable, inflicts fire damage on attack. Ooh, I like that. Get out of here, you. Seriously? Alright, so at least we came away with something around here. In the meantime, I hate to cut this episode short once again, but, you know... We gotta go ahead and do some more searching. We gotta go ahead and get some more materials. Hopefully the next episode will be prepared for the freaking destroyer again. Oh, man. If not, I may have to go ahead and reboot this series because... Some of you actually asked about rebooting this series. They wanted to go ahead and see it from the beginning. See all the, the challenges and the turbulations that were going on. So that could be a possibility as well. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all goes. You never know. Anyway, have yourselves a wonderful day. And if not, just simply fake it. I'll see you guys again next time. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. That's Orichalcum. Not worried about Orichalcum right now because I've got a boatload of that crap. Whoa. Got a boatload of that crap at home. Get out of here, you. And of course, we will not be happy enough to go ahead and find... I need more titanium. Damn. Oh, hold on. Hold on, the traveling merchant's back. Before we leave, we must find out what the traveling merchant was selling. Where is that traveling merchant? Don't tell me, don't tell me. Willie the traveling merchant is on the freaking cloud. Damn you, Willie. Alright, this episode is not ending until we actually see what Willie has. That's how it's going. So we'll, we'll go ahead and make our way over here. We'll harass Willie. You never know, he may have something good over here. He may have my paint sprayer again that I sold in order to get the Gatligator. That could be a thing. Where is that tree? Where is that tree? There we go. Now hopefully, hopefully he has something brand new and funky fresh. I would love that. The past few times they visited, they have had nothing but the same crap over and over again. So it looks like the random number generator not too friendly to me. And, oh, ammo box? Ooh! Can be placed, reduces ammo usage by 20%. I like that. Winter cape, vanity item. Extendo grip, we got that. Celestial magnet. Increased pickup range for mana stars. 15 gold, I'll take it. Just what the doctor ordered. Just what the doctor ordered. Or look, the star guy ordered. I don't know, look. Either way, we needed that. Anything else, Willy? Willie is knowing all what I need here. That ammo box would be kind of cool as well. Here, take this pwn hammer. Take this blade. Then I want you to take... What else can I give him? Oh, Willie, take something. I'm not going to use this bubble wallpaper. Screw that. Oh, come on. I, need, I only need one more gold. Willie, come on. Cut me a break here, Willie. Oh, Willie. Damn it. Am I going to need a rash magma stone? Probably not. I can always farm it again later. Give me the ammo box. That is what I need.